Well, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for coming out this afternoon. And this is a wonderful opportunity for us to be here in the 7th District of the City of Richmond. And Cynthia Newbill is not here, uh, but if she was here, she'd say it was a great day in the City of Richmond, and particularly in the 7th District. I think I have it almost right anyway. <laughs> and uh, we're glad that you're here as well. Uh, we're getting ready for this little race that we're going to have in September. And we have done a lot of infrastructure uh, improvements across the city. And particularly, we're pr pleased with the infrastructure improvements that we've been able to make in Church Hill, uh, hoping to be able to restore some of the historic character of this beautiful area. And one of the good things about all of the improvements that we have made is that we will allow those who are coming to visit us for the worlds to see and to enjoy the improvements. But when they're gone and the races are over, we'll still have uh, the beautiful infrastructure that has been put in place and we'll be able to enjoy it. Uh, one of the big features of the UCI cycling uh, route is the cobblestones. They've talked about these when they came to look and determine uh, what would be the route for the city of Richmond for the worlds. They were really excited about this 23rd Street and the cobblestones and so uh, we have improved this street and we're looking forward to the cyclists who will come and ride on them in September but before they come and ride on them we're very happy today that they will not be the first, uh, but the Richmond Cycling Corps young people uh, are going to be the first to ride these cobblestones. So let's give them a hand. And I want to acknowledge uh, the Richmond Cycling Corps, and I want to take a few minutes to make a very special announcement. You know, our city is a very diverse and multifaceted city. We are growing in many ways. Uh, there are so many things that we are proud of. When we talk about the city, we say that we are resurgent, and we know that our city is uh, blossoming, that we are evolving, that we are a great city that is receiving a lot of accolades from all over the country. But we also recognize that there are parts of our city that are not as resurgent as others, that there are parts of our city that are not as uh, uh, prosperous as others, and unfortunately, in those parts of the city, such as that, we've created a generation that does not believe that they have the chance to succeed. There is a generation in the city of Richmond that uh, doesn't believe that they can be better off than their circumstances, uh, that believe that they can't be better off than the circumstances they've been born into. And unfortunately, we do have a generation of young people in the city of Richmond, not all, but some, uh, who I would uh, determine is a generation that has no hope. All of us here today know that talent is universal. And all of us here today know that opportunity is not universal. Uh, young people need hope and young people need confidence. And today I'm very happy to kind of recognize, not kind of, but to recognize one of the very fine residents of our city, Craig Dotson, who embodies this notion of providing hope and confidence to young people. That's a part of his core value system. He's passionate about it. And today, uh, I'm very happy to signal Craig out because Craig and these young people behind me uh, have been a part of a wonderful program uh, that uses the bicycle as a tool to engage young people from public housing into a highly detailed program that at the same time develops their character. Craig not only puts our young people through a rigorous regimen on a bicycle, but he does some of his best work off of the bicycle. He helps the program's young people with needs that are chronic. Uh, he helps them with their legal aid, assisting with dental and medical needs, academic support, financial literacy, and emotional support. In 2014, Craig launched the nation's first and only inner city cycling team at Armstrong High School and then expanded the program earlier this year to MLK Middle School. I had the opportunity to go out and be a part of the dedication of the One Mile Mountain Bike Course. Uh, it's a 15 acre parcel of land in Fairfield Court featuring 27 obstacles, a community garden, 
and 600 square foot barn, 41 newly painted trees and metal sculptures. By the way, this team won third place finish in the 2015 Virginia High School Mountain Bike Series Championship race just this year. I think they deserve a round of applause. And we know that results like this are not measured just in trophies, but they're registered in pride. And we're so proud of uh, our cycling corps, but I'm proud of people in our community like Craig the director of the Richmond Cycling Corps. And uh, for this reason, I want to nominate Craig to be the Richmonder of the Year. The Richmond Times-Dispatch is uh, having a uh, competition, and they are asking us to nominate individuals for uh, Richmonder of the Year. And I believe that a person that is willing to work with our young people, a person that is creative and innovative, and providing these kinds of opportunities deserves such an honor as that. Craig is over here, and I want you to know that he does a great job. Thank you, Craig, for all that you do. And uh, Craig, I have to tell you that I don't think I'm the Times Dispatch's favorite person, so I don't know what good my nomination is going to do, but I'm going to put it out there. And I certainly believe that you deserve to get it. We want to thank the Department of Public Works for all of the wonderful work that they've done. I believe that the contractors are here. Uh, that did all of this hard work. It is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. We're excited about this, and this is just another day that we are able to declare that Richmond is a great place in which to live, a great place to be a part of, and we can't wait for the worlds to come to see how great we are. So this time I'm going to bring Thomas Wilds from the Churchill Association to come and have a few words. Let's receive him as he comes. Thomas. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon. I'm Thomas Wiles, the current president of the Church Hill Association. First, I want to say thank you to Mayor Jones for his leadership and to all the city's leaders in bringing the 2015 Road Race Championships, commonly known as the Worlds, to our beloved Richmond, Virginia. This will be our opportunity to showcase this wonderful city to the world. 450,000 guests are expected to visit our city, and the race will be broadcast live to over 300 million viewers. This restored cobblestone road will be one of the primary challenges and the focus of the world's premier cyclists. Second, on behalf of the residents of Church Hill, I want to thank Mayor Jones and the countless public works and park staff for their tireless efforts to prepare our community for the race. The restoration of 23rd Street cobblestones as well as Libby Hill cobblestones are just small examples of how the historic nature of our community can be a lifeline to our community's future. All too often, we want to meet the future by destroying our historic past, paving or building over it. In this historic community of Church Hill, Richmond gained its name from the panoramic view from Libby Hill. Early Native Americans lived and sometimes fought historic battles here. The nation, nation's future was planned by our founding fathers here. The Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the Civil War, all had major roles in the development of Church Hill. 23rd Street is a small yet wonderful example of how embracing our historic community can entice tourism advance our local economy, and generally improve the quality of life of our residents. On Church Hill, each resident has been a developer. We have reclaimed each home and each business one by one over the past several decades. Together with the city, the residents have restored our community to its historic grandeur. Again, thank you, Mayor Jones, for bringing the worlds to Richmond and for your efforts to assist in the restoration of Church Hill Let's keep enhancing our past treasures for the advancement of our city's future. Okay, so we're going to cut this ribbon. Come on, Mr. Wild.
All right, help us count down from five, four, three, two, one. Everybody, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Let's do it, y'all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.